Ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between and beyond, welcome back to Tampton Zoo. So before we start, today's episode is actually only the first part of 8th episode because the whole build took me so long that I have like 8 hours of content and I wouldn't be able to just squeeze it into one episode, it would be like one and a half hour of video. So I just decided because someone suggested that maybe sometimes if that's the case, if the episode will be just too long or just the speed build part will be just too much, like you can even watch that, then maybe just do like two part or something like that. So I decided that for this episode this might be actually the case. So yeah, today you're only going to be seeing uh, the first part of the episode, so you will see like half of the whole build, but still I think we managed to do a lot for this episode, so I hope you guys are gonna be happy with the results. So for the first part of this episode, we're going to focus mainly on the underground part of this whole build because some of this build is literally underground because we're building an nocturnal house and since I'm taking inspiration from Łódź in Poland they have the whole nocturnal house underground unfortunately I wasn't able to find any pictures which isn't a new thing some of the stuff is really hard to find I mean of course it kind of makes sense for a nocturnal house because these animals don't like light and when you take a photo especially in like a dark room you kind of have to use the flash so of course you wouldn't be able to do that in a nocturnal house so maybe that's a good thing that we don't have pictures <laughs> because that would mean that people just use flash taking the pictures but at least I hope that maybe I will be able to just find a picture outside just the entrance but unfortunately it's not a case um, so you just have to I guess believe me or come to uh, come to the city and see it for yourself if you're able to but the idea is that because it's a nocturnal house it will be easier to to just put everything on the ground where there's no light you just don't have to build a whole building that just doesn't have windows so I guess that's more of an interesting idea because I haven't seen that done in Planet Zoo I've only seen just the buildings that have no windows uh, as nocturnal houses in Planet Zoo so I hope that's something different that you haven't seen yet and I'm quite happy with the results so I hope you guys like it because let me tell you just the amount of time I had to spend on it I mean of course I, I love just building in this game but sometimes I think something will be just easier to build it and then I'm actually starting doing it and I'm like well that's gonna be an issue I'm gonna just be here for like hours but I just like building this game Sometimes it's really annoying, but I guess we, we all know that if we if you guys also build in this game, if you guys like building in this game, if you want to do something really unusual that isn't really working with the way that the devs intended the game to just work, how the construction system, how the building mode is working, uh, then you're gonna struggle a bit. <laughs> and I think everyone that tried that knows that. But sometimes, I don't know, 
the results are really good and just like building something that might involve thinking outside the box and trying to come up with the way of building something even though that it's not implemented in the game uh, so that's really cool like with the monkey house maybe that's not a good example but just with the water i wasn't able to place water because the, the path was too low so i just use the glass pieces that when the light hits just the reflection on the top of the glass gives off this illusion that there's water inside even though there's none but yeah that's the thing i just like building something that is completely maybe for some people not possible or maybe even for me and then i'm like well it's done in real life so it's just a game you know i have to be able to just make it maybe it won't work as it should work in real life because some of the mechanics are not implemented in a game but it will still look like it's an actual thing that's supposed to look like that and work like that. So that's usually what I'm trying to go for. I'm not building anything abstract, surreal or something. I'm usually going for a realistic vibe, even though I'm not building ultra realistic. I know some people are extremely good at building stuff that looks like a picture. I'm not going for that, but I still want to give up this vibe that it could exist in real life and actually all of these builds are inspired by stuff that is actually in real life. So of course it looks like something that would just exist in real life. So yeah, that's why for this episode I decided that my struggle <laughs> this time is going to be creating something that has different elevations. Uh, and what I mean is that this part, the, the first part of this episode is mainly focused on the un underground part, as I said. But in the second part, we're gonna build the building and two habitats that actually access the underground part. But the animals that live there can also go on the ground level. I can just tell you as like a little sneak peek, I just build tunnels that they can use and they actually use it, it's so cool to watch it, that they can just go underground but also access the ground level. So it's really cool to see them either on the ground or on the ground. So it's cool to see them like hang out in this actual burrow because we have an item for some animals. So they have like an actual item that they can go into, which is I think animal burrow or something like that. I'm not sure what it's called exactly in the game, but I just decided why not make them an actual burrow that they can just access and the people will be able to just go underground and actually watch them just hang out in this barrow so that's what we are going to be doing in the second part of this episode but that will be in a couple of days on the channel but but for this part we are building well you can see already that is a back cave so i just decided that i'm going to resemble an actual cave so everything in this walkthrough exhibit is just stone <laughs> and that on its own took me a couple of hours it was so time consuming and i'm just happy that it's done and i don't have to do it again hopefully maybe i don't know what the future holds for me you know <laughs> probably i'm going to be doing that again at some point for any other series whatever we're going to be doing uh, because that's a cool concept if there's an actual cave the animals are using so there's no really other way to do that but just place a bunch of stones and just resemble the actual cave
So yeah, I don't know if there's anything I can add to that. The actual Batcave isn't inspired by anything. I haven't seen one in real life other than an actual cave that bats live in. <laughs> but I mean, that's an obvious inspiration from actually, you know, wildlife. But yeah, other than that, the Batcave is just a bunch of <laughs> rocks and stone and that's it. And just hours of me struggling to just build anything cool. So yeah, now we're building something that I think was the most interesting for me uh, because I haven't done that and as I said, I like to build stuff that looks real but might not just work and that's completely fine, of course that's just a piece of decoration that just makes this whole building more interesting. So now we're building fake exhibits because we've done pretty much all of the exhibit animals, maybe not all of them but most of them they are already implemented in the series and when it comes to nocturnal exhibit animals in the planet zoo we only have scorpions tarantulas and centipede was there something else i don't i'm not sure if i remember correctly but i think that's it for the exhibit animals so i just decided that i'm going to add some of them even though they're not in the game and that doesn't mean that i modded the game there's no mods used for the series i was thinking about that but then i decided that that might not be a good thing for the first ever series on this channel maybe we will do like a modded series at some point when we will just use only modded animals that i think will be cool and interesting but for this series i just decided that i'm not going to use mods because there's just no point we have enough animals in this game already so yeah what i decided to do is that i just build fake exhibits that they just have the interior and there's no animals in there there's just like educational boards and that's pretty much it there's nothing in there it's just a piece of decoration i guess 
uh, like a wall decoration and the guests will of course just come to the educational board or just to the screen and just look at it and that will work fine I guess. And there are a couple of them but for the entrance I decided to go for Madagascar cockroaches and I'm not sure about the exact species but it was some millipede. So now we're starting to build the uh, exhibit part of the underground part of the building um, and as I said uh, we're going to have scorpions there, tarantulas and amazonian centipede, I'm not sure if there's another word in there, I, I just know it's from amazonia and it's a centipede and you don't want to get close to it because it will just literally kill you. So. If you see it, don't come near it. <laughs> I mean, pretty much don't come near any of these species. Uh, well, some of them won't kill you, but just don't stress these animals. If you ever see them, just let them live a happy life over whatever they are. And yeah, the concept for this part of the building is pretty much the same and that we did for the reptile house or the herpetarium, whatever you want to call it, which is the mud walls and just stone and plants and everything, just you know this kind of a jungle vibe, but I just decided to add more of these uh, fake exhibits to just, 
add more content I guess to the whole room and for these ones I just decided to go with Jerboas. I know that the enclosure for the Jerboa is probably too small but you know they are not really in the game so, so I'm not really sure what is the exact size they need so I just decided to just use one of these pre-made because I'm just using the, the same ones that I just built for cockroaches and the millipedes and just put any animal that I can think of and I also wanted to place hedgehogs and mole rats and these are way bigger animals than jerboas so I just decided that one of the small ones will be for jerboas and the other two bigger ones will be both for hedgehogs and for mole rats let me know what you think of these picks uh if you would pick anything i tried so hard to remember what i saw in these nocturnal houses and that's pretty much all i remember just the insects and you know tarantulas scorpions uh, millipedes, centipedes, some of the rodents like mole rats, uh, hedgehogs as well. I know that there was some species of monkeys that are like just nocturnal but I just wasn't able to find them online so I just decided that I'm not gonna add them because that I think would require me to place a habitat there and I just wanted this part of the building to be just exhibits so I just decided to go for smaller animals and that's literally all I could remember so I hope I didn't skip like extremely important and obvious pick for a nocturnal house because that would be embarrassing but i wouldn't be that surprised if i actually did so just let me know if i skipped some like iconic nocturnal animal that could fit here so i'm sorry if i did
So now we just add in a lot of decoration to just make this whole room look more cohesive and more interesting I guess. So of course we're just adding stones, plants, nature, everything. But yeah that's pretty much it for this first part, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, as I said, unfortunately that there's not a lot of stuff going on in this episode, in this part. Not episode because there's another part coming up, let me tell you. Don't forget that. And I think the second part is more interesting if you guys are more into habitat animals. And I think everyone is because these are the animals that actually use the space that you build for them. And these exhibit animals literally just stay in one place or have one animation and that's it. But you know, that that's completely fine find that would be incredibly difficult to just make every single animal move however we want them to move but yeah i just hope you guys enjoy what i was able to achieve in this part of the episode and i will see you in the second part in a couple of days i'm not really sure how many hopefully it's just five but yeah i'm still working on the editing and i will just see you then so enjoy the cinematic shots and i see you in the next one bye